Have you and your staff talked yet about pros and cons from Saturday as far as the in-helmet communication, having the tablets on the sidelines, what worked, what didn't work? Yeah, we, we had that discussion yesterday, and it was all pretty smooth. And I'll be honest with you, um, much smoother than what I thought it would be with all the new technology during the game with so many other things going on. The newness of it was a real concern of mine, and it, it actually still is now. But we didn't have many glitches, and I was pleased with the way that it came through on the first game. Could that, could that be an advantage, the, especially the first couple games, maybe staffs that pick up uh, and have a better system for how to incorporate all that, and while others may be struggling? Yeah, I would, you know, I mean, we, we think that what we're doing gives us an advantage, but maybe somebody else is doing something better. Um, but we've had long discussions about it for months, and so we had a plan going in. There's not a lot we felt like we wanted to change. There's a couple things that we would alter a little bit for this next game, but we think that we have a productive way of using it and facilitating it to the best uh, that we can for our players. Coach, the thing that surprised me the most, getting to see it down there, you know, Joe Bob and Tim Ortay, some of the coaches always had one when their guys were over there. Mm -hmm. But there were a lot of times I looked over and it was just players with a pad together, that kind of goes, you've talked about, and I know it's the way, that way in my house, younger people are better at that stuff than. Yeah, were you able to uh, go look and see if they were watching YouTube or actually watching <laughs> the uh, they, the were watch, they were watching plays yeah. from the Nowadays, last series. Nowadays, these, these kids, they probably try to pull YouTube up and watch some goofy video. Uh, smart players will go back and continue to watch the game. It's, it's like taking a cheat sheet into a test. So you can go and look and see what all the answers are and then go back out and play. Just like I had a couple of teachers in high school that had a really good approach in teaching. They said, here's the material that I want you to learn over the next two weeks. I'm going to, I'm going to lecture on this and I'm going to give you the material with the answers. And then we're going to have a test two, two weeks from now on Friday. And that's probably the best teaching procedure there is, in my opinion, because whatever material he wanted us to learn, he gave us the answers. So who cares? So he lectured on it, gave us the answers, you studied it, you paid attention, you made an A. If you didn't, you made whatever was accordingly, and in the end, you learned the information that he wanted you every two weeks. Well, that's what those tablets do. The information's right there in the, in the, in the tablet. So you can look at it and get it. It's a cheat sheet to go back out, or you can not look at it, not absorb the information, and go out and figure it out on your own.